So you're thinking about getting an e-bike? Maybe you have one already? Wondering how do I transport it? Let's talk about co-op. You're looking at reviews, you're looking at videos going, boy, these racks are expensive. And yes, they are. I'll tell you from personal experience, an e-bike rack is not the place to save money. The most important part of this rack that's a great feature, that's a ball bearing, my friends. You've probably seen those racks, they're flopping around on the back of people's cars. There's a knob that puts pressure on that ball to make sure this is completely snug. You could pretend this is a hitch mount on the back of your vehicle. We've tried every rack we could find from Hollywood to Saris, 1UP, Thule, we've tried them all. This is the best rack we've found with the most features for the best price. If there's a better rack with more features at a better price, let us know, we'd love to carry it. Once you have an e-bike, you have a rack, you gotta make sure everything's secure. We've put the pin to hold the rack in. We're gonna lock the pin with this lock here. Now, your rack is locked to your vehicle. We're gonna put the dust cap back on the lock. This is the only part of the engineering I don't like. I wish this ramp like mounted in here somewhere, something like that, it doesn't. So you just have to throw this in the back of the car somewhere. I mean, not a big deal, but I wish they would re-engineer to make that better. So it's got these two little screws, pop that out, and that way you can get the right length. Get your bike, start rolling her up. Grab your easy arm, pull it out. Whatever strength level you have, it's really simple to roll that bike. Hidden in the back, integrated lock, stays in there with magnets. You just pull this out and click. Now your bike is locked to your rack. Rack's locked to your car, bike's locked to the rack. That's super safe. Did somebody come along and break this? Absolutely. Did you probably put a GPS in there and a vibration alarm from watching our other videos? Yes, you did. The last part of it is putting on the back wheel strap. You have this little adjustment arm that's gonna put tension on that ball bearing and cinch it up into your tow hitch receiver on your vehicle. If you don't have a ball bearing, there's gonna be play in between the rack and your vehicle's hitch mount. You have the slop, no thank you. It's your handy dandy tool. It's gonna snug that ball bearing right in your hitch. It mounts right in the back, you never lose that tool. It's a whole world of difference compared to how it was flopping around before. There's this cool lever, so maybe you don't want your rack taking up that room when you're not using it. You just hit the lever and you can fold it right up. Now your rack's out of the way. It's easier to back into spaces, all that kind of stuff. Pretty convenient. Um, in addition, maybe you have a back hatch that comes out. That's fine, you can still, you can lower it the other way. So you can lower it down here. E-bikes are just hanging off this way. Get into your hatch, get your stuff, all that kind of thing. Spend a couple extra dollars, get yourself Envy Base 2.0, they're $749. The ramp is extra, they're $99. You have that peace of mind, you have zero barrier to entry, you're set. We appreciate you guys. We've got a bunch of more videos here. We've got videos here. Come down and visit us. And as always, miles of smiles.